Hey everyone, I'm your host Jamori Snipes and this is Taxi Cab. Taxi Cab is a show about the arts. We talk about theater, musical theater, film, dance, and music. We also like to throw in a little gossip, improv, and we like to talk about social media trending topics. For our first segment for today is called Taxi Cab. Taxi Cab is a theater improv game. The taxi dri cab driver, me, embodies one of the passenger's characteristics. The next passenger that we pick up, we all in the cab embody that characteristic, and so on and so forth. So, without further ado, let's play. Hey, keep your eyes on the road. You can't trust anybody out here. I know you can't trust anybody. It's nothing but a bunch of rats out here, huh? Aye. Yeah, I know. Hey, keep your eyes on the road. I'm keep keeping it on my the eyes road. on the road. Hey, what are you looking at, what huh? What are you looking at? You looking at me? I'm, Don't be looking at I'm me. I'm not looking at you. You're looking at me. You shouldn't be looking at me. I'm, keep what? driving what on the looking? road. Drive. I'm driving. You Drive. See me dri you see me driving here. I don't know what you're doing here. I'm driving. What are you doing here? Forget about it. No, you forget about it. You forgot about it. Oh, I forgot about it. You forgot about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, my God. Let's pick up this other costume. Hey, what up, guys? Hi, how are hey, you? Hey, what's going on? What's going on here? Oh, no, we're just driving. Where yeah. are you going, by the way? I, I was wondering. I'm going to a party. Would you guys be interested in going? A party? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's my friend's 22nd, birth um, 22nd birthday, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You're going to that be, party now? There's going to be lots of food and drinks. You guys are interested? Yeah, we'd love to go. Yeah. She, her oh, house, go. house is downtown. But you see, the thing is, I don't think she knows how to party because I asked her what type of drink she had, and she told me Arizona iced tea. So she doesn't like drink drink? No, I, I think she doesn't know how to party at all. Juice? What? Yeah, she told me juice and chips, and I was like, whoa, whoa. Whoa, chips, yeah. Juice? I this is not a party. It sounds like a, a hangout session. We like, got to show her how to party, oh, right? Man, you have no man, idea how many people there are in the city. I know. Like, she's so frustrated. Subway this morning. Do you have any idea how many Jesus creatures I ran into? Oh, that pisses oh me off God. every time. God, I'm oh. so sick of it. This city pisses me off in general. That's why I prefer to take a taxi. The subway is just crazy, I know. man. It's just Cloudy. irritating. Crazy. Like, today I was on the train. This for taxi's kind of full, you know. I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Looks like a shuttle. <laughs> yeah, don't remind, me, don't remind trains. me of trains. I'm so sick of dying of trains. I, I hate crowded them. trains. It pisses me off. Just like how crowded this taxi trains. is right now. Hi, my name is Jamori Snipes. And I'm Tommy Nula. And this is Hot, Hot Topics. Topics. For our first topic of today, we'll be talking about Katy Perry and Miley Cyrus's Kiss Fail. Ooh. So apparently at one of Miley Cyrus's concerts in LA, she tried to kiss Katy Perry and Katy Perry dodged her kiss. God knows where that tongue's been. Yeah. <laughs> Says Katy Perry. She said that we don't know the tongue is so infamous. Ooh. Ooh. So it started a whole feud back and forth between Miley Cyrus and Katy Perry. Actually, I'm kind of sick of Miley Cyrus right now. What about you? Actually, Jamori, what I'm sick of is how everyone is just so focused on her. Yeah. What I, I think is to like really bring her down is that if we all stop caring about what she does, I mean, come on, like, why is everyone so interested in like her provocative acting? I don't know. It entertains us, but. Based you know, off of what Katy Perry that's what said, America likes, yeah. so whatever. But Katy Perry seems to completely disagree with Miley Cyrus and even insulted her famous tongue, which she <laughs> always seems to stick out all the time I for whatever God, reason. Sometimes I just want to chop that thing off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. So recently, the SATs have come up with a new protocol for their testing. Don't get me started on that. Apparently now they decided to dumb it down for us. <laughs> right after we took our SATs. Wow. And applied for college. Dumb it down? What yep. do you mean? Well, they, the essay section is now optional. <laughs> the math questions are easier. Wow. And it's uh, onto a 1600 scale. <laughs> that would so, have helped a lot yeah. of us. Oh, it's a little <laughs> late for that, SATs. And most of all, there are less difficult words on the SATs. Well, it's not like we use half those words yeah, on the SATs anyway. I don't remember half those words I memorized. We study for all of them and then we have to put them back on paper, but we don't mm -hmm. even use them yep. often. So I guess it's helpful a little bit that they're 
dumbing it down for us or whatever. Wow. Yeah, it's a little late. And the essay being optional? I worked so hard on those essays. I wrote essays throughout the whole summer trying to get it down in, what, 25 minutes? Yeah, like we, we like, take all these SAT me? classes. Minutes? You know how much money that is? Do you know is? how long it takes for me to express myself to like get the <laughs> words out of my heart onto a piece of paper? But then they're like, oh, no, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 5. Like, no, <laughs> I can't do that. Like, I have to stay focused. 25 but, minutes is clearly not enough time, but now they're making that essay optional. So what exactly are you supposed to do to fill that gap of small amount of time that we actually I get. don't know, but those are for kids for 2016, and that's ah, their problem. 2016. Oh, a few years from now, like two. Yeah. yeah. On to the next one. So on March 21st, Divergent will be coming out in theaters. Divergent Woo! is um, a best-selling book by Veronica Rope, and it's done really well. It's been compared to books like Hunger Games, which did really well yeah. when it became a movie in theaters. It's a lot like The Hunger Games. Yeah. I, and, I, and I like it. Like there, there's more personally, female I like heroes. It, yeah. Personally, like, I like yeah. it a little bit more than the Hunger Games. Oops, I said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like it a little bit. So, more. what do you think of the actress who's starring in? Oh, Divergent? Shailene Woodley. She's playing Beatrice, short for and also Tris. yeah, Tris, yeah, in the book known as that. And Theo James will be playing Four, the male lead. Hmm. Yeah. So I, I mean, really like his character. He's very kind and sincere to like um yeah i like him too yeah to tris I mean, and theo theo is very good looking by the way and he'll make a perfect Woo! for you for yeah <laughs> you know i mean like get ready for all those fangirls yeah not exactly excited about that one yeah but i'm interested to see how it's gonna do in theaters i mean compared to mm -hmm. hunger games it's got to do really well you know I similar mean, concepts games got me intense like whew, whew. i couldn't <laughs> i mean I, I'm waiting for that so one. So much death, so much sadness. Like, and I don't think I can Shailene handle it. And Shailene Woodley, she was in um, Secret Life for American Teens. So. And the movie The Faults of Our Stars. Oh, awesome. Cool. Another yeah. book. Great one. She seems to be doing well for herself. I'm yeah. proud of her. I, I, I want to see her play Tris. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I think she'll do great in this one. Mm -hmm. And that comes out March 21st in theaters. Yeah. Oh. We'll be buying our tickets to see that one and tell you all how that was. Maybe they'll make the second book. But that's all for today of Hot Topics. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me again, your host, Jamori. And this is Countdown, the part of the show where we count down the top five musical theater songs of all time. Number five is a classic. It's called Hope I Get It From A Chorus Line, one of the greatest musicals we really ever had. Number four is As If We Never Said Goodbye from Sunset Boulevard. Number three is Lullaby on Broadway from 42nd Street. Two, I'm Still Here from the Follies. And our top song of today is Give My Regards to Broadway from Yankee Doodle Dandy. Now we're gonna go to our fun facts, the quiz portion of our show. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm your host, Jamori Snipes, and this is Taxi Cab. If you're just tuning in, you miss Countdown and Hot Topics and our first improv game called Taxi Cab. But that's okay because we're playing another improv game called Freeze. Freeze is a game where two actors are on stage and they're given a prompt about a situation and a location and they have to act that out. After a little while of playing, one of the actors who's, who isn't on stage calls out Freeze and replaces one of the actors, and they're given a new prompt, and so on and so forth. So, let's play Freeze. So, one of our actors is on her way to the store. She's having a bad day. She doesn't look too great when she runs into her ex. 